so friends in this video i have covered the topics checks on piston checks for burning of piston crown piston pressure testing piston ring clearances so i have covered all these topics in this video so please keep watching the video now moving towards our first question so at the time of overhauling of piston we need some piston checks to be done so we should check for any burning at top part of piston we can use template to check the burning of the top part so you would have known that the piston's top part is known as crown and it is always under high temperatures due to the combustion so there may be some burning seen at the top part so we should check it now we should check for any cracking at top due to thermal and mechanical stress by pressure testing so we need to do piston pressure testing so i will tell you in my next slide check piston rings and groups check for the free movement of piston rings by taking ring clearances inspect for any wear down of rings by checking the values in manual so first we need to check the piston ring clearances by using vernier filler gauge or any measurement tool i will tell you in my next slide and then we will measure it by the readings given in our manual to make out that how much wear is there so moving towards our first check checks for burning of piston crown so for checking the burning of piston crown we take a template and a filler gauge as you can see in the video and keep just on the piston and we will put filler gauge between the crown and the template as you can see we will take it diagonally and measure it in our manuals now moving towards our second check pressure testing of piston for the cracks for pressure testing first we have to keep the piston upside down as you can see and we will dismount the bracket of the lifting tool as you can see in the video then we will clear the foot of the piston and we will fill the piston with lubricating oil as the oil is filled then we will mount the pressure testing tool with a pressure gauge and a air hose connection on the piston foot or piston base after connecting the air hose we will give a pressure around of 7 bar as per our manual we should give the pressure as per the manual so we will maintain the same pressure for a certain time say 30 minute as per the manual and we will check keep on checking the pressure should not drop and there should be no leakages in the piston to pass the test and this finishes the piston pressure testing and we will release the air and dismount the pressure testing tool and friend this finishes the pressure testing of the piston and this is what you have to tell to the surveyor when you are asked about the piston pressure testing So after this I have attached one video of TGA learning for checks on piston rings in which we will check all the clearances but clearance is also known as ring and clearance or gap clearance it is the distance between the connecting faces of piston ring this clearance should be within the limits specified by the engine manufacturer the ring expands when the engine is hot If the clearance is less than the minimum limit the ends touch due to this thermal expansion the ring expands against the liner this increases the friction resulting in breakage of ring and seizure of piston if the clearance is greater than the maximum limit combustion gases blow by the rings and exhaust gases enter the crankcase this results in loss of compression pressure in the cylinder to measure butt clearance insert the rings in the bottom of the liner and ensure that they are in line with the linear axis measure the clearance between the faces of the piston ring using a feeler gauge 
record two sets of readings forward, aft and port starboard. Axial clearance is the clearance from the top of the ring to the top of ring groove. The combustion gases exert pressure behind the piston rings and push towards the liner for proper sealing. If the clearance is less than the minimum limit, combustion gases cannot flow behind the rings. To measure axial clearance, fit the ring in the respective groove such that it rests on lower surface of the groove. Measure the clearance between piston ring and upper surface of the groove using a feeler gauge. Record two sets of reading, forward, aft and port starboard. Back clearance is the clearance from inner diameter of the piston ring to inside diameter of the groove. Thickness of the ring should be less than the groove depth so that the outer ring face is inside the ring groove. If there is no back clearance, the rings take the side thrust. This results in high friction and possible piston seizure. To measure back clearance, Measure the depth of the piston ring groove by means of the depth gauge. Use vernier caliper to measure the thickness of ring. Take both these measurements in at least six different positions around the groove circumference. The difference between the two readings will give the back clearance. If the back clearance is more than the specified limit, replace the rings. So friends, hope you would have understood this video on piston check. So friends, my old general marine helpboard was suspended by some mistakes by the YouTube and it will be back to maybe, I don't know, it will take how much time it will be back or not. So I made this new channel so that you all get help from this. So I will upload one by one all the videos by making it again. So friends, please like and share the video and subscribe the channel marine helpboard so that all get some help